What is going on, everybody? It is your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Catfish. This is Jesus and Alexis, y'all. Before we get into this review, as always, church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Before you leave, let me know that you stopped by. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. Y'all, this damn episode of Catfish made me mad. It made me mad as hell. It made me mad as hell for the catfisher and for the catfishy. It's confusing as hell. So I'm just gonna let y'all know right now. I, I'm I got damn it, Auntie gonna need your ass to keep up. I'm only gonna go through this shit once. Cause it's confusing as hell. So hopefully y'all are ready for this review. Cause I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it, y'all. Alright, y'all ready? I, I'm listen listen now. This shit is confusing. Okay? So Need we can to get an email from a chick named Baby A, right? Baby A is like, look here, it's this dude named Jesus. He 21 stay in San Antonio. He being catfished by this bitch named Nicole, right? She ain't who she say she is. This is the name to the real chick who, who really is behind what the hell it is that ain't doing, right? Need was like, Kim, what, what the fuck is this? What she mean? Huh? Leave like fucking, let's call Jesus because this is already confusing as hell. So they call Jesus and he's shocked as hell. He's like, oh my God, this is really neat. He's like, yep, this is neat and catfish. <laughs> we in this thing. So we got an email from a chick named Baby A saying that you being catfished by some bitch out here. And so we trying to call you, find out what the hell you know about anything that's going on with this. What's good? Hey, Sue said, word, you know what's crazy is a little while ago, I got a text from some random ass somebody talking about, hey, Nicole ain't who you say or who she thinks she is or whoop de whoop yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, who the fuck is Nicole? Because the chick I'm talking to name is Alexis. Neva can be like, what? Now, Jesus said he been talking to a chick named Alexis for the last year. They met on Meet Me. She actually DM'd him. They, from there, ended up FaceTiming, but it was real dark. He could barely even see who she was. And so, he was like, you know, he, you still pursued a, a conversation with this chick, y'all. Now, Alexis is 20 years old. She's from Austin, Texas, my city. When I was like, first of all, first and foremost, when I seen they was in San Antonio or they was going to San Antonio, that's right up the road for where I'm like, I'm like, oh, Texas in the house. I got excited, but then I was like, okay, last bitch that was from Texas, she fucked everything up for us. So hold on, let me calm down for a minute because I'm getting a little bit too excited. So he says she's 20. She has a daughter, three or four years old. Her daughter's name is Alyssa right now. He say that him and Alexis bond through wrestling. They some WWE fans. He loves seeing motherfuckers get body slammed. She love body slamming motherfuckers. You know, they just, they, they bond through wrestling. He's in love with her. He says that he has hopes of meeting her Maybe one day moving to either where she at, she moving to where he at, and they going to get, he going to put a ring on it. He ready to marry the bitch. He ready to wife the bitch. So, he was like, all right, I get it. You love the bitch. So, um, how come y'all ain't met up or nothing like that? He say that every time they were supposed to meet up, something came up. She had to watch her daughter, and she had to do something pertaining to her daughter, right? Mind you, she in Austin, he in San Antonio, that's right up the damn street, right? He says um, that she asked him for money twice, but now times he ain't had the money to send to her ass. That's good. Because wait a minute, bitch, I can't see you, but you asking me for some ducats? Oh. And of course, they were supposed to video chat, but like all catfishes, the damn phone was broke. So the bitch couldn't FaceTime and couldn't video chat and none of this other bullshit. If all of these ain't red flags, y'all, from the years that we have been watching catfish, what is we doing? What is we doing? So Neve like, look here. You know what I'm saying? What what you want to do? You want a barbecue and meal do? Cause we can go down there to Texas where you at. We can help you find old girl. See if you being catfished around this bitch or whatever the hell is going on. What's up? What's good? This nigga Jesus gonna say, well, I really just want you to help me find out um who the person is that sent you the text message. Neve like, my nigga, you don't you don't want to find out who the bitch is you talking to? You know uh. Fuck who, 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 who blowing the whistle? You, you, you want to see who the fuck they blowing the whistle about? He like, yeah. Well, I guess I want to go ahead and meet her too. 
Neve like, yeah, nigga. Uh, all right, we on our way. We see you in a minute. So y'all, they get to San Antonio and we finally get to meet Jesus. Jesus is with his best friend, Star. Now look here, before anybody get on here, I just want to say right now, don't get in here dogging my boy Jesus, for real. This my nigga, I take off my earrings behind this nigga right here because the way she did his ass was wrong as hell. So don't get in here talking shit about Jesus. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it a buck. For the obvious reasons, we not finna get in here and clown this nigga like that because any one of you motherfuckers out here could've, well, nah, not anybody could've got catfish like this because anybody else would've seen these signs. But what I'm saying is, don't say shit about my homeboy Jesus. I'll backhand your ass. I swear to God I will. So they must be in a country part of San Antonio because my mom and them people from San Antonio and they look like, <laughs> well, he was from look like 1970s San Antonio. He from the old part of San Antonio. They ain't caught up with the rest of the world. And before anybody from San Antonio try to go in on me, nigga, uh, me and my people is from San Antonio, so kiss my ass. I'm just saying he was in a country ass part of San Antonio. Y'all know I ain't lying. So they get there and they breaking everything down to him like, okay, look here. So we got this email from homegirl named Baby A letting us know that the chick that you talking to ain't who she say she is. This is the picture of who she say she is. Whoop de whoop, yada, yada, yada. Hey, so it's like, wait a minute. I don't know who the hell that is. That ain't who I've been talking to. I've been talking to this bitch right here. So then was like, wait a minute, what you mean to say who the hell are you talking to? Hold on, show me the text message that you got from this person that said that she ain't who she say she is because this shit get confusing as hell. So Neve looks at the text message and he's like, okay, wait a minute. The name that's on here that she texted you is a totally different name that she sent me in the email of who, who wait a minute, hold on. Neve was like, okay, so was the person who sent this email to me just confused as hell? She don't know what the hell she talking about? Does she got her wives mixed up? Are we on a wild fucking goose chase? Do we not know who the hell is what? But then again, they're like, okay, so how would she even know Jesus then to send him a text message saying that Nicole ain't who the hell she say she is. And he like, but wait a minute, I ain't talk to no bitch named Nicole. Bitch, I'm talking to is Alexis. So everybody confused as hell, right? Now, Jesus' whole thing is he's been adopted. He was abused. He was in foster care. Like, he's got a lot of emotional baggage. And he just basically, he wants to be loved. He wants to be in love. He wants to be accepted. And so you kind of, you feel bad for the nigga because it's like you, you want this to be real for him. But it's like, you know, nigga. This ain't who you talking to, dog. Like, that ain't who you talking to. But you wanted to be that. F I'm, I'm, oh, God, I feel bad for Hazel. I just want to fight that bitch. So, Neve and Cammy end up doing a little bit of investigation, right? They search the pictures. Don't find shit. Search the phone number. Don't find shit from there. They end up going and they investigate the Facebook pages that they have for the girl that sent the email to them from Baby A. The email that they got with this is who the person is, they end up going and searching that Facebook page. Don't really find a whole lot, right? So they end up going and searching the name that Jesus got in the text message to who this girl really is. When they did a search of her name, they found like four or five different po profiles with the girl Alexis picture that Jesus had. Did I confuse the fuck out of you? I'm explaining to you again. Okay, so, Neve got an email from this anonymous bitch named Baby A. Like, look here, Nicole ain't who the hell she said she is. This is who she really is, right? They searched the name of who it could be. They ain't really find shit with that. But when Jesus got that text message from that random bitch a little while ago said, hey, this bitch ain't who she is. This is who she really is. They searched that name, end up finding out, okay, these are the pictures of the Alexis bitch that Jesus had, but she got like four or five different goddamn profiles with all these different motherfucking names, but it's the same goddamn picture. So they like, oh... Bingo, we got action. They get back with um Jesus and his best friend started to tell him everything that they found out on a little investigation or whatever, right? Now, I'll be honest with you. The way that editing was doing everything, they kind of kept looking at his best friend star. And I ain't gonna lie for a minute, I was side-eyeing the bitch too. I'm like, wait a minute, 
Why they keep putting the camera on this hoe? What's she up to? Yeah, I'm finna keep my third eye on that bitch. Why they keep putting the camera on her ass? I'm just saying, it was just editing. And you know, in Catfish, everybody is a fucking suspect. So best friend, my bad. Because I was side eye on your ass for a minute. I'm like, mm-mm. I don't like this bitch. And my slap a bitch arm is itching. Mm-mm. So at this point, damn Jesus is pissed off because basically they ain't find out a whole lot more nothing to who to, um, she actually could be. But they know that the bitch ain't who the hell she says she is, right? So Neve like, fuck it. The number that texted you that says she ain't who she is, give me that number because I'm finna text this whole my damn self. Neve ends up texting her like, look here, this Neve from Catfish. Bitch, we trying to find out what the hell is going on. Call me back as soon as you get this mess the fuck ASAP. Call me back, right? So then Jesus is like, hey, have y'all called Alexis for today? And he's like, nah, you want me to call that hoe too? Jesus is like, yup. We need to find out what the fuck going on and you call that hoe too. So he ends up calling, um... Alexis is like, look here, this need from Catfish, bitch, you already know the motherfucking jig is up. I'm going to need you to call me. Let me know what's going on. Whoop de whoop yada, 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 right? Soon as he hang up the phone, he end up getting a text message back from the chick that texts Jesus anonymously. Was like, look here, if you want to know what's going on, you're going to have to meet up with me face to face. He like, oh, word? Bet. Jesus like, well, bitch, let's run. Let's go. She like, I'm in San Marcos. Here the address. You need to come meet with me ASAP. I'm about two and a half thousand away. Now, time out. Pause for the cause. Now, look here. Like I said, y'all know I'm in Austin, Texas. I say that prayer. I'll tell you how it's all day. He's in San Antonio. He said on the text message, it was going to take two and a half hours to get from San Antonio to San Marcos. That's a damn lie. It take an hour at the most, 45 minutes if you mash the gas to get from Austin to San Antonio. From Austin to San Marcos, it's only a good 30 minutes. I'm thinking, okay, this nigga must stay on the outskirts of San Antonio way far south. For it to take two and a half hours to get from San Antonio to San Marcos. My Texas folks, drop it down in them comments below. Y'all already know, hell, you can Google that shit. Put in San Antonio to San Marcos. At the most, you're going to see 52 minutes. I'm just saying, their math was kind of off to me. I was like, two plus four carry to one. What? Two and a half hours. I'm telling y'all, Sam Mark, I'm getting all off subject. But you know, they from my city. So I was like, hold on. I got to point out the discrepancies. But like I said, he must be on the far, far side of San Antonio. So they finna meet up. They got an address. BFF can't go. She like, nah, I got to go home. You know, my mom them going to be tripping. She ain't finna let me leave with a bunch of fucking strangers. So you text me, let me know how everything went. And you know what I'm saying? If I got to come right up up there and beat that whole ass, just let me know. But you know what I'm saying? I'm finna be over here at the house. So they end up going to San Marcos to meet up with whoever this was. Oh, and then on top of that, they like, okay, so... What should we call you? You know, we texting you. Who the hell is you? Bitch gonna say, just call me baby A. We got action. So, child, they get out there to the address that she texted them to meet them at. Child, it's a park. It's at nighttime. They don't know where the hell they at. They like, oh, hell no. To the no, no, no. Y'all better call this bitch, text this bitch, ask this bitch where the hell she at. Cammy steady calling her. Cammy steady texting her. Bitch, where's you at? You said meet you. We here. What's good? Child, she ends up sending Cammy a text message back saying, so sorry. I got to work late now. Can we meet up in the morning? <sighs> Cammy was better than me because I called her ass bitch. No, no. You know I got ways. I can find out where your ass is right now. We need to meet right now. But they was cool on her ass. They was like, look here, we ain't trying to scare the bitch out. So go ahead, text her back, let her know we meet her in the morning. But look here, ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We can't meet in the morning, bitch. We gonna meet your ass at the door. Child, so the next morning, they end up going back to the park to meet up with whoever this baby A person is. They get there to the park. Baby A is a chick named Amanda. Amanda says that her and Nicole used to be best friends. Nicole is the name of the person who's actually behind these different profiles, right? Now, the reason why she decided I'm going to let Jesus know is because she claims she just found out about Jesus. She says Nicole is a bad person. She makes a career out of catfishing motherfuckers and getting money out of their ass. And the reason why she decided to go ahead and hip Jesus to the game and let him know what happened is because supposedly
allegedly Nicole used a picture of her daughter, Amanda's daughter, and claimed for uh, Amanda's daughter to be her daughter. And so she said that pissed her off. She was like, oh no, hell no, I'm not gonna do this no more. She, she felt like Jesus needed to know the truth. He needed to know everything that was going on. So bitch, she trying to be a good Samaritan and she just trying to come out here and let you know what the hell is going on, right? Now, at first I was like, okay, good. You know, I appreciate you, bitch. I appreciate you for coming through letting them, you know, let my nigga know what's going on so he ain't got to be looking stupid out here in these streets. But then again, a part of me was like, um, it seemed like it's a little bit more to it than that. But I'm going to see how this thing going to play out. So Neva's like, okay, well, we trying to meet up with Nicole. What's good? How we going to meet up with her? Amanda's like, she's very narcissistic. So if you tell her that she met up with me, then she definitely will meet up with you. He was like, okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and call the bitch, let her know what's good. Thank you for your help. I'm still side-eyeing your ass, but thank you, though. So Neve ends up calling, um, does he, I can't remember if he calls her or if he uh, text messages her. Anyways, he sends a miss, uh, bitch a message like, look here, we done already hollered at Amanda. We already see the type of shit you on, so uh, I guess you ain't got nothing else to say. Peace out. He hang up the phone, child. Next thing you know, she ends up texting me, talking about, you can't believe shit that bitch Amanda say. She's sketchy as hell. Meet me at this address. I can let you know what's really good. And he was like, bingo, we got action. We got this on now. <laughs> child, they end up going to this sketchy, seedy-ass hotel, motel, no-tail holiday inn. They go, Neve knocks on the door. Bitch, when I tell you, this is Nicole. Baby, Nicole came out bloody with a bandana on ready to fight some goddamn body. I'm like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Nicole came out basically giving no fucks. She was like, um, yeah, I did the profile. And, um, really, Amanda made it, like, a couple years ago. And I just took over from it. Now, she seemed kind of... <laughs> I'm just saying. She was like, well, I met him at the profile a couple years ago, and I just took over the profile, and so, like, I just started talking to him, like, a, like a year ago or whatever. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, she already knew what the fuck is going on. Like, just because of my fucking nerves. Like, she was tweaking. Hoard. She was tweaking. So, he was like, okay, so, so, damn all this you talking about, Amanda. Let's stick to the subject at hand. Bitch, you the one out here catfishing niggas. She like, hold on. Don't get no fucking attitude with me. You ain't got to get smart with me. Da, da, da. I didn't realize what I did, but you know what I'm saying? Amanda did all this too. Like, she knew what the fuck was going on. He was like, look here. Kill all that noise you talking about. You sit up here and you done played my man for a whole goddamn year. You need to take some responsibility for what the hell it was you did in all this. So Cammy like, uh, homegirl, Who's the pictures that you've been using? Who is Alexa? She said, that's my cousin. She said, okay, so who is the pictures of, of all these other girls? She said, that's my daughter. Kim is like, so you using your own damn daughter picture to catfish niggas out here? Do they know you using these pictures? She's like, uh, no. Like Kimmy in the wrong. Bitch, she didn't say nothing wrong. She asking you what your ratchet ass is doing. She's like, um, yeah, like, so what? Like, Amanda gave me the pictures of her daughter, first of all. She gave me the pictures of her daughter to use in the first place. So she already knew what the hell was going on. Now, look here. I'm not going to completely come down on Nicole because Nicole did say she been through a lot. Like, you could tell just her whole demeanor, her whole attitude. You can tell she... She carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders. So I don't want to completely come down on her. But it was her attitude and her demeanor that just, that, that had me fucked up. That had me fucked up. Like I said, y'all, you not finna dog my nigga Jesus. He didn't do nothing wrong. He out here loving your dumb ass and don't even know who he out here really loving. And that's messed up. So she... She really didn't show a whole lot of remorse for it. She got pissed off and basically was getting ready to cuss the hell out of me. Was like, look, you know what? You don't want to forgive me. That's it. If you don't want to forgive me, you want to believe everything that Amanda says and you're dumber than I thought she was. Bitch got mad. She walked out. Neve was like, oh, can't be like, uh, the ghetto. You better get this bitch. I'm not going to do this shit. Neve like, look here. Go on and talk to her. She ain't going to talk to us because she pissed off at us, but she obviously got some kind of relationship with you, Jesus. So go on over there and highlight this female. Let her know, look here, bitch, I appreciate you when you did this. I just want to let you know. So Jesus ends up going, you know, knocking on her door, talking to her or whatever, and I felt so bad for Jesus because he was like, 
you know, I'm 21 and you said you was 20 and obviously you're not 20. I was like, damn, hey, sis. <laughs> you trying to call that bitch old on the cool. You wrong. I seen what you was trying to do. You wrong for that. She was like, yeah, I know what I did was fucked up. I mean, yeah, like I know I was wrong. I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I get it. I get it. I was messed up. And so he basically tells her, you know, what you did was fucked up. It was wrong. Now, I will not talk to your ass no goddamn more. She was like, okay, that's fine. I understand that or whatever, right? So y'all yeah, just cut to the chase. Two month follow up. They did a two month follow up with him, whatever, right? He said he got a new girl that he with, a new girl he met in real life, face to face. <laughs> Ain't a bitch on the internet. And he out here living his best life. He said he done lost a couple LBs. He out here feeling good about himself, smelling himself, and he doing good. And they also said that uh, Nicole ended up deleting all these fake ass profiles that she had. And supposedly she not out here catfishing niggas no more, but we will see. Later on, because as long as there's a goddamn internet, there's always going to be some fucking catfishes. <laughs> y'all, that was the end of the episode right there. Y'all, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know, drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Mwah. What's going on, y'all? Look here. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment on this video. All of that good stuff. And if ain't nobody else told you today, I sure enough love you and I sure enough appreciate you.